What's going on, guys? I know I'm not on the screen, but I'm trying to be mean, baby. We are finally here in NeuroCloud. I've been talking about, I've been wanting to play this game ever since I saw that it existed. Uh, I wanted to add it alongside Path to Nowhere, so that's what I'm going to be doing. And then obviously, uh, Higgin, whatever the hell, is the other game that I really, really, really want to play. So let's check this game out. Let's just have some fun uh, today. First impressions, and just let's just go on with it. So we got to think about the music and stuff like that. Did I build this? Yeah, let's build this. Kind of hate these kind of modes, but it is what it is. So you got the main story, you got your dailies. I'm about to show you guys the gameplay in a second. Uh, there goes your dailies. Uh, the day resets about 8 a.m., I think, EST. Keep that in mind. I got some things to do. We still got to unlock some stuff all the way down to 3-6. Got to hurry up and go get to that. But let's just get into some gameplay, man. I I, I got I, I love it too much. He said you could be to say you have a chance to get some neutral, uh, neural fragment of the doll. You will also get a fixed amount of neural fragments as a reward for the first time clear. So we can do this 10 times a day, and it's for the characters that I currently have. Interesting. Let's check this out. Formation, you can uh, spend combat EXP to quickly upgrade your... Okay, so I was kind of curious how that worked. Oh, okay. Kind of wanted to... There we go. How much do I have? Oh boy! So this is the quick level system, I guess. Oh, they're only going up one level. This is just like the EXP. Where is my EXP? Can I see where my EXP is that I gathered? I guess not. This is like my main unit right now, so I kind of want to get her strong. Let's go to 10. Can I get to 10? Sweet, she's 10! Now this is not the main mode, but hey, why not? Definitely have it on times two. I was just kind of curious on how this mode goes. It seems like a basic stage, things like that. Okay. Boom. Boom. A little spicy, starting off the grip. And then we got the little fragment. That's just like, the, it looks like the dupe system. I'll do this on my own time. But let, Oh yeah, I forgot we can actually just click the proper thing. I'm still technically like in the tutorial, that's why. So it's trying to tell me things to do. All right, let's get it. Oh, uh, okay, this tutorial, but still. Still learning things, takes effect at the start of the battle. Range units on this effect tile gain infinite range on normal attacks and ignore HP shields. What the hell? Range unit on this tile, okay. So that's one of the things. So you do have a bunch of units. I think we have like six at a time. Um, they also have these tiles that come out. So you do have to be mindful of where these tiles are. They have their little abilities. We'll read a character uh, afterwards so we kind of know what's going on. But at least you get to see the visual. There it is. Same map. She might die. Oh! She sniped him from the back. What a beast. So, yeah, still in the tutorial. This is, a, this is like, it's, it's pretty long. Hopefully, we can get um, the thing absolutely skipping the story. If it's not voice acted, it's not for me, baby. Sorry. All right, let's get into this thing. Oh, breakthrough. So, 10 is the max level, at least for the first level. She's a level two. You can see that there's level three characters here. There's level ones. I'm sure we'll get to the summoning animation and stuff like that soon. Choose your character. <laughs> Beware of summons. Masi has been sighted in the, the final zone ahead. Watch out for units, enemy units, it summons. So this is how you start. This is game is what we like to call a roguelike. A roguelike just means that each of these nodes, you're going to pick something and then it's gonna base on the battle or maybe like a mystery thing. So it's really, really cool. And it's very important that you're paying attention to what is out here for each little step. So I like to just go, especially since I'm in the beginning, all these are the same, same uh, power level, but I do want to go into this one. So we're going to start at the top. You can see that the drops also are, they're telling me specialist guard and warrior. Uh, so you could see, ah, I clicked it too fast, but you could see the, the icons, what you actually have. I can't, I have a little bit of everything actually right now. So this thing in the back, it's telling me that it summons things. So as soon as I get the ability to, I do have skills down here on the bottom right. Oh, they killed it. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, they do charge over time. And yes, it is chibi. I hate it just as much as you do. 
And you guys know I'm big, I'm not into chibi stuff at all, but it is what it is. Now at the end of each map, pretty much, special, uh, you will get like a function, aka you get a buff. Special is enhanced to the uh, ally unit with the highest attack, 3, 4, five, five, five of their attack, every 5 seconds, up to a couple seconds. So, this character here is going to be doing that. This one is a drop for a warrior, which is going to be the little hammer icon, which is the chick that I just maxed out to level 10. So, she's going to get stronger, provided that I do this. So I'm gonna click her. This icon here lets me teleport. I'm gonna teleport her to the back so she deals with the portal immediately. And boom, no more summons. Wipe their stuff out. Easy clap. It's what I like, baby. So now we have a buff for a warrior or I can go for a buff uh, for my medic. Warriors have their lifesteal effect enhanced by whatever. Every stack of bleed on their target gains additional life steal. I don't know if this character has a life steal. It'd be cool if I could see it. But not gonna go with that. I'm gonna start with the, my medic one. One, it's purple, so it makes me feel better. Medics can grant all ally dolls a HP shield when the battle starts. That's amazing. Going to the next fight. Same thing. Oh, wait. There we go. Get that up. Nice. And this is a nice easy clap. Now the maps are gonna be quick. I do I do think that they should have an auto feature, uh, especially if you are very strong. Uh, this is the one. Let's see. When specialists use any skill, they enhance the team uh, enhance the teammate with the highest attack with life steal for their normal attacks. Absolutely fantastic. Now we get the recovery zone, which I don't need, uh, or I can go into this to get a buff for my sniper. I think I will get a buff for my sniper. Same thing. Teleport into the back. The uh, other ones is a, uh, a cyclone that lifts up a unit. Either I can use it on an enemy unit or I can use it on my unit. I can use it on an enemy that's being too annoying. I can use it on my own unit if I need to save it, maybe for a special or something like that. But nevertheless, so that we get a sniper one. Every three uh, normal attacks, the next one inflicts frozen. Wish I could hold this and it'll tell you what frozen is. Uh, let's say it's frozen. Okay, they kind of give you like a, a brief example. Or I can have it that when a specialist uses any skill, they speed up the skill recharge progress of a teammate with the highest hash rate. Uh, I, a hash rate, I think, is like cooldown. So that's interesting. You can also see what gives you the most. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna keep buffing up my specialist, actually. The enemy now has leveled up based on what I've been doing. Oh, I, I, I was just trying to read that. Okay. Just wanted to read that. But that's gonna be the main strategy here, just taking out this, it's just the main thing. Oh, we got taunted here. Um, this one, can I actually check? Okay, it doesn't check. This one immediately activates like my secondary skill. I wouldn't call the main skills because the main skills and the stuff on the right, which I'll use in a second. She summons a camera, it's pretty cool. So we get a active function, uh, Show Chun. Knocks all enemies in a selected area airborne, dealing operant damage equal to 100% of hash rate that can be uh, that can deal critical damage, then create a trap of thorns that immobilize the enemy. So this is actually a special thing that they just gave me. Uh, which one do I want to do? Every one or two, so normal attack, the next one. So that's improve my tank, use any skill. When a guard uses a skill, they do reflect damage. I like that. Uh, this is a special trans a thing similar to like slay the spire esque like this is such a great game Especially if you're if you're about path to nowhere uh, This is such a great game uh, You do your, your path to nowhere dailies or whatever and then you just go into this because these are a little bit longer It's more gameplay focus detected uh, usable de uh, Protocol data which can provide the team with buffs. I can get a, a Obtain protocol dragon slayer allied dolls deal 10% more damage to Boston elites or I can exchange the function You may exchange the function uh, for random ones with equal levels or I can just heal my people. I don't need to heal my people. Let's get this dragon one. That sounds nice. Uh, recovery, don't need to do that. We're going to go with the boss area. I'll eventually want to upgrade these, which is what, what you do in the recovery area as well. Actually, here you can see it, right? So you see teleport the doll, which you see me do. All damage dealt by this doll is increased by 10% 10, uh, 10 for 5 seconds. That's what's good. It also has a branching one. Uh, this one would heal it. Uh, this one is to pick it up like I said I can either make my ally invisible for two seconds So they don't get targeted for a little bit or I can make it that the enemy is stunned after two seconds So they get lifted and they get stunned for two, another two seconds this one uh, the auto skill gets used immediately Can I see that? Oh, I can actually see that it. it's fantastic. 
uh, auto skill, uh, select an enemy and reduce their auto skills charge by 50%. So I actually use more disruption or I could use this. They use their auto skill immediately. This does not affect its cooldown. Boost their skill haste by 400 seconds. That sounds amazing. That's in the future though. I'm just gonna keep doing that. As you can see, I, I can't do it all the time. By the way, I'm on times two. If you want it on times one, especially on a, maybe a difficult stage that you might not understand what's going on, you can times one it. I'm comfortable at times two at the moment, so I'm times twoing it at the moment. Guard taunts the enemy farthest away for four to five seconds whenever they use a skill. I like that. Level up. And we get a drop for the medic here. Dragon Slayer. Things on cooldown. Now, as you can see here, as I'm on times one, let me explain something. So these are like little barricades, and it's supposed to protect it, so I, it's harder for me to get to the thing in the back, right? That's kind of the point of it. So we look at this laser beam coming down from the bottom left. Now I can have her do it again by using that skill, if that makes any sense. So there's multiple different ways. As you see, we're getting coins. We'll be using that pretty soon. Healers have their healing output increase uh, when healing a target that has a shield. Uh, this was cool. So look, now uh, Warriors can flick bleed. So now if I want to get that other one, I can get it. Now we have the recovery area or the thing like I don't need to recover, but you can upgrade your function cards or I can generate a trading area to trade off some of the ones that I might not like. I'm just going to upgrade the taunt one every time you use a skill. Which one do I like though? I this one. It gives us a shield in the beginning of the match. I think that that's good. Enemy has leveled up again. That's pretty cool. Trading area or some more fights. Let's show you guys the trading area. So now I can increase my thing again by using coins instead of uh, just randomly getting to a station. I can also buy protocols, as you guys saw. All non-healer ally dolls attack plus, but also their hash rate goes down. These protocols are like positive negative kind of thing. So look, all units take 25% more damage when their HP is lower than 50%. So me and the enemy take that, right? So it's good for us if I can keep my things HP higher, but allows us to mow stuff down, right? Here I can see all the fun stuff that I've, I've gotten. So I'm going to do Warriors release battle cry before using their auto skill dealing that damage to new one inflicting bead. I like that. We're going to buy that. Um, what is this one? Guards backlash enhance. Yeah, let's upgrade that too. Now, as you can see, I have too much. I need to get an upgrade to do that. So I'm going to need to sell one of these uh, enhanced backlash. Is that the thing I just bought? That would be kind of silly, right? I could sell one of that. Let's sell that. This is the layered attack. Now we're in compliance. There we go. Recovery area. Let's increase one of these. This one's already maxed. I think purples, uh, sorry, orange, golds, orange, whatever, always come uh, up fully upgraded. Let's upgrade that. The thing that the, now you can see now it turned purple. Let's do this fight here. Dragon Slayer. All right. Bring you in the back there. You see the bleed thing going on there. Now, I haven't showed you guys these. So, Empty Tile. This is her special skill. Just a little picture. I think it taunts. I actually don't know what it does, but I'll, I'll find out what I read. And it puts these things on the right on cooldown. There we go. Taunt it up. We're doing really good here. She's taking pictures. She's swinging. We're taking up. Can't get to the back line there. But if I really wanted to, I could have easily lifted the, the portal up or something like that. Portal works on bosses too. But we were never in danger. All the healing and shielding that we have based on what we have is good. Data encryption ahead. It seems to be guarded by powerful enemies. Do you want to take a look? Allies have their HP restored upon entering the area. Clearing it will grant additional rewards. If you are defeated or quit, the settlement will be based on the current progress. We going in there. Hell yeah. All right. Think we do the same thing? Go down here. Let's, and they gotta get to that. I wanna times two it. Go back to times two. taking a lot of damage now 
I'm gonna use this one, get some animations going. Don't know what that does, but it looks good. Gonna let her use her skill twice. Boom! Yay! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a full uh, board at the moment. Take your level of rewards, your combat experience. As you can see, that they don't gain experience through that. So you do have to go and then level them uh, if you want to do that. That's how that would work. Then you have the, the, the basic stuff. Neural search. Oh, okay. This is the summon. Special neural search. I think this is with uh, paid currency, right? Yeah, you got to pay for that. They have the beginner one. You could choose one of the three dollars from the final list. Only one chance. Oh, so it's a selector. She looks insanely cool. She has a charm. She's a heal. Nah, we don't go with healers. Another tank? I kind of like my tank. Is it sniper? Wait, you're a knitter? How's a knitter a sniper? It's uh, stacking counts, attacks, quilting, six... She's she's quilting people to death. Splits into three shots, penetrating enemies, detonates all needlework marks at the end of quilting's duration. That sounds fucking sick. Fires needles in the direction, dealing with that. Using the skill while quilting is activated, extends the duration of quilting. So she just does that and then she pops them? Dude, that's like Callista from freaking League of Legends. One of my favorite uh, ADCs. That's gonna be hard for me to beat. Let me have B. Uh, dealing additional damage, absorbs HP, uh, da, 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 affects a mask of suffering. Oh, she, she makes like a prosthetic mask. Really cool design. I guess this is like a, oh, oh, can I use them? Oh no, just a, that's not bad. Chibi, but at least it looks good. Anaka, she's a support. So we have what, three supports? Three supports, one tank. Two warriors. This is a specialist, right? Let's see what the specialist. Uh, due to the hit rate and dodge rate of a character. Okay, graffiti. She does graffiti. Uh, searches with a thing, turning the tiles, neighboring tiles into dealing damage, inflicting things. I'm I'm quick reading. I'm not obviously I'm not doing a review of the character. I think I'm gonna go with stitches. Let's go with stitches. I'm assuming that's what this means. I still have to use currency. Okay, so this is, yeah, it's a different thing. I'm going with Stitches. Oh my god, she's the worst in the tier list. How could you? Nice, we see the summon animation here. We already know where it's at. Out here. Oh, even further. So that's how it, oh. But we went deep out there for Stitches. Master Embroiderer, I'm really good with needles, I'll tell ya. I can't wait to use her. A sniper that knits just sounds nuts. So we have Hubble, which I know I've I've heard. I heard she's there. Three dollar guarantee within 30 seconds. But is it her guaranteed? Or is it uh let's see, three dollar hubble, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Uh gets a limited Time drop rate boost. One two star above is guaranteed every 10 searches. So there's incentive to do a 10 pull. Get 30 Aki narrow fragments for free on your first signal redemption. So we have another warrior and we have another uh, sniper. I don't know. I already got a sniper. I want a dope. For every attack this Zach crit, his crit rate goes up. Wait, by 30%? Damn, this effect expires when a normal attack crits. Okay. Uh, 100% that can deal critical damage. Deals damage a thousand percent of his attack to a single target. If the target is defeated, immediately activate the skill again. Oh, uh, it's it. it uh, yeah, that's it. I want him. Are you kidding me? I love attack reset stuff, dude. He can, like clear the whole field with that. That's insane. Now I've seen her skill. Her main skill. This thing is is insane. It like pushes them all to a corner, and then oh, and it can crit. That's actually stupid. Uh, yeah. But I like attack resetty stuff, and I just got the other healer, so. Let's go with this. Right off the gate. Search Shokun. 
Aki, I need you. Okay, we're going deeper in the search. So I need something to hit. I need something to go further and further. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Wow, these all suck though. They're all blue. <laughs> Aki, come forth. Lamb, lovely design. I like her look. The gray hair. She's oh, great design. Holy shit. Your name is a number. Oh no, your name's up here. Yeah, she got a thick. All right. Um, what else do we got here? Oh yeah. We got B. That was the character I summoned. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. Check that out. This is it. One is in military time in my time, and it shows me who's. Oh, that's actually sick that they did that. So we actually ended up getting V anyway with her weird mask. So then we got some neural kits for getting dupes. Abigail got the cat food on deck. So it tells you when you obtain the unit. That's sick. That's such a cool uh, thing. Groove. Support. Play that funky music. Green eyed girl. Play that funky music right. Choco, she got chocolate and a sword. Oh, I can't wait to read all these characters, man. I'm going to have so much fun. Ma, 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 ma. Oh, I'm in love. A search that results in a duplicate uh, dog gives you the neural kits that can be used to pass. So, yeah, so let's go. Um, oh, of course. Are you having a good time? I'm unimpressed and have suggestions. <laughs> good. So far. There we go. So as you can see here, uh, th these are the neurals. So I got 15 currency of dupes from the other characters, and then I can use those dupes to put it here, put it into the characters that I actually want to use to level them up. I think that that's how that's working. My, I'm gonna max her out immediately. That's gonna be my character, man. That's some more goodies. Once you do this, I think you get a, uh, a selector or something like that here too. Nice. Man search command. Got more neurals of, who is this? Uh, Persephone, whatever the hell her name is. So we keep going. The more stuff I keep doing, the better I get. So yeah, you can go over here to doll info. And let's just read a, off a character that, let, let's read off the chick that I was using her, her super, right? So you guys can see, we got this, the intimacy, intimacy level, neural expansion. As you can see, I need 60 of these to advance her. She's a three star, right? So that's what those things are. So you do need a decent amount of dupes or getting the character themselves to do that. So interesting. Uh, you can see ultimate skill is leveled up to level two. And I also get neural cloud projection unlocked as well. Um, as I level this up, this is also, I think to boost her max level. So what was she doing? She dropped a, uh, a, a camera, uh, parallel investigation summons a photo stand in a selected area that can absorb 11 hits lasting for 7.4 seconds. The photo stand taunts all enemies in the area until the illusion dissipates. It blinds all enemies that, uh, that are taunted for four seconds when it disappears. So it blinds them. Uh, that's, that's insane for every blind enemy. Oh, so my normal attacks have a chance to blind. Uh, Cause she's taking pictures. That's dope. Uh, and this is her auto skill, right? Takes a photo of an area populated with enemies, blinding all of them for four seconds. So that's what synergizes with her ultimate here, because uh, he sh they have to take eleven hits, but the photo stand might stay there longer because they might start missing. So interesting, really cool character, right? I love the design. Absolutely finagle, finizzled. And uh, I think we'll do a summon session in a later video. But so far, what do you guys think? I am enamored. I think that is the correct terminology. I'm so happy this game is finally out that I can play something alongside Path. And oh my God, look forward to more content from both games. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.